Kanye West and the Seventh-day Adventist Church. This video is a question for Pastor Steve Wolberg. Last year, Kanye released his album, Jesus is King, which included the song Closed on Sunday, wherein he praised Chick-fil-A for not opening on the first day of the week, and shortly thereafter, Pastor Wolberg came out with this video here, appealing to him, and in the video, he publicly criticized Chick-fil-A and said that the food chain, quote, isn't really following God's word on this point, end quote. Kanye has since come out multiple times condemning the racist history of Planned Parenthood and condemning the abortion industry for killing multiplied tens of millions of little children. So here's my question. In your video, you urged Kanye to not follow the traditions of men, but take a stand for God's fourth commandment. You urged Kanye to, quote, be courageous, to demonstrate courage enough to be part of God's commandment-keeping saints. So here's my question. You are a Seventh-day Adventist. You are an ordained minister of the Adventist Church. If Kanye West decides to join your church, how? How will you explain to him why your own church supports killing children by abortion? The Adventist Church has supported breaking the Sixth Commandment for over 50 years. For decades, Adventist Church leaders have claimed that killing children is a religious freedom. The current President Ted Wilson on multiple occasions publicly affirmed that yes, killing children is an act of worship. It is a sacred act of conscience. Pastor Wahlberg, you publicly criticized and condemned both Chick-fil-A and the Catholic Church for following a, quote, tradition not supported by the Bible. But your own church has never produced even one single shred of biblical evidence that violently attacking and killing children is a religious freedom. Why should Kanye West ignore churches who break the fourth commandment but keep the sixth commandment while your own church supports keeping the fourth but breaking the sixth. As I have documented repeatedly in my other videos, Seventh-day Adventist church leaders and evangelists are notorious. They are notorious for hiding from new members the church's position on abortion because they know full well that if people find out, they won't want to join the church. Pastor Steve Wolberg, how? How will you defend this horrible satanic teaching to Kanye West when no church leader has ever been able to defend it? Over two million, over two million dollars was offered for the scripture and no Adventist leader even attempted to claim it because they know that the teaching is a lie. Dr. Edward Allred is the most notorious abortionist who boasted of killing over 250,000 children. He told the news that blacks can only survive by getting on welfare and that Hispanics are a threat to society. So the solution was to target their children for violence and murder. Dr. Allred boasted that his busiest day for killing children was on the Sabbath. He killed over 100 children every seventh day of the week and this man is honored as the the example forever for students at Adventist universities. He is honored as the inspiration for Adventist youth, and he is celebrated as the distinguished ambassador for the Adventist church's flagship hospital. Pastor Steve Wolberg, how? How will you explain this to Kanye West? The Adventist church was blasted for this disgusting hypocrisy in international media. Pastor Steve, where was your voice? Church leaders refused to apologize. Kanye West is a smart man. He's going to look and he will see that Pastor Steve does not hesitate to publicly condemn other churches for their false teachings. Pastor Steve does not hesitate to publicly condemn other Adventists by name who support, quote, evil satanic teachings like spiritual formation. You have no problem, Pastor Steve, publicly condemning everyone else. But when your own church makes the satanic claim that it's a religious freedom, to murder children, there's not even one word of public condemnation from you. Why is that? In this video right here, you told the story of a vow being made to blow the trumpet and warn people when an evil teaching is being brought into your church. You said that you would blow the trumpet. How come you are so eager and you are so zealous to publicly condemn 
other Adventists by name for spiritual formation, but when people publicly defend murdering children, you give them a total pass. Why is that? To everyone watching this video, you can see for yourself, Pastor Steve right here, specifically name and target Dr. John Dibdahl. This man has a wife, he has a family, he has children, he's been a leader in the church. You gave this man no quarter. You publicly savaged this man's reputation by attacking his teachings as demonic and satanic. And yet, when people in our own church use the holy name of Christ to violently savage and murder little children, you give them a pass. Another problem is that we have people like Amazing Facts speaker Dennis Preby claiming that Christians who oppose killing children are enemies of religious liberty. We have people like Ivor Myers claiming that they are racists, Adventist leaders claiming that they are crackheads. Even if Kanye West wanted to join this church, he'd be called a racist crackhead, enemy of religious liberty. Doesn't sound like a church I'd want to join. We Adventists teach that you must not drink. We teach that you must not smoke. That these and other vices like gambling should be illegal. Yet according to Pew Research, a whopping, a shocking 42% of Adventists in the USA believe that it's okay to murder a child in all or most cases, and they believe this because church leaders have lied and falsely claimed that violently killing little boys and girls is a sacred religious freedom that must be protected. Pastor Steve Wolberg, with all of this incriminating evidence before the world, how? How will you convince Kanye West that we are not a cult?